Hi, fifth grade. Today we're going to be working on the uh, back of part one of the directions for your weather project. So you're going to go to your H drive and open your weather. Um, just a reminder that everything you need is on the direction sheet. We will be starting with step six. Anytime you see something highlighted in color, it's going to match the colored arrow. So that should help you with finding things as you're going through the directions. This video will break the steps up so that if you're having trouble with the step, you can watch that part of the video and get directions on how to do it. So let's. All right, for step six, it says click and drag to select row one cells A through C. I need cell A1 through G1, where the word weather is, all the way to G1. And then it tells me to click Merge and Center, so I'll do that. Step 7. It tells me to click and drag to select row 2 cells A through G. So I'll do that. And I'm going to click Merge and Center again. Step 8 tells me to click and drag to select row 3 cells B through G. So I'm going to start on B3 and drag to G3. And it tells me to click Wrap Text right here. Now I can see all of my words. Step number 9 says select all the text. And if you look at arrow on your direction sheet it is pointing right here in this corner. Um, now it's made the whole sheet of paper turn gray. I'm going to change the font style to Arial and the size to 14. So we've got Arial and 14. And I'm going to do 10 here as well. It says click somewhere on the page so your sheet of paper is no longer gray. There we go. Step 11 says double click between columns A and B to adjust the width of your columns. So you're going to put your mouse on this line between the A and the B. See how I have a double arrow? And we're going to double click right there. And now column A is as long as my longest words. Step 12 says click and drag to select columns B through D. Okay, so we're not selecting cells this time. We're selecting the whole column. So I have to click on the letter B and drag to the letter G. Now the whole column is gray. If I go down, it's gray forever. All right, and the next part of 12 says click and drag between columns B and C. So I'm going to put my mouse in the line between B and C adjust the width of the columns to 14.29, which is 105 pixels. So I'm going to click and drag until it's at 14.29, 105 pixels. When I let go, it adjusts all of those columns. So now all of my words are in two lines. If you see that your words are not in two lines like mine, then you have typed something wrong. You're going to want to look at the front of the direction sheet in step four to figure out exactly what you're supposed to have typed in each one. The most common mistake I see is missing spaces. Um, I'll also often see missing capitals and periods, so double check your work, please. Step 13 says click on your title. You can change the font style, and you're allowed to pick anything as long as it's not all capitals. So this would not be a good choice because it's all capitals. But I can pick anything that's not all caps, and you can pick one that's easy to read. For the size, it needs to be between 22 and 28. You want to pick something that's going to look big for a title. In color, you can pick any color you want. Choose one that's easy to read. So number 14, you click on your name the font style this time. Again, you can pick the same one or you can pick a different one as long as it's not all caps. Um, size is going to be 18 or 20 this time. And again, color. You can pick the same color. You can pick a different color. It doesn't matter. Just one that's easy to read. Step 
Step 15. Choose paper orientation by clicking the page layout tab. And there are arrows for this on your uh, direction sheet. So here's the page layout. Then it says pick orientation. Then it says to choose landscape. is to resave your work by clicking the purple floppy disk. Step 17 is to print one copy. We're going to go to File, Print. If you are at Trinity South, your printer should say South Lab. If you are at Trinity West, your printer should say West Lab. If it says that, then you're going to click the Print button to print your work. That is all the steps. Thank you.